Hello everyone, I am Jazz Chapman, this is Jazz Chapman TV, and today we're going to be talking about how to save money to buy a car with cash. So, if you're new to my channel, I have been doing all week basically videos on where to find cars that are under $10,000. So, if you want to check those videos out after watching this one, the links will be down below in the description box. So, go ahead and like this video. Give it the thumbs up button to help the YouTube algorithm. And go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. Okay, so, before we get started, I just wanted to uh, mention PayPal Prepaid MasterCard. Uh, this is good for if you cannot get a regular bank account or checking account or you have a problem with overspending and overdrafting your account you cannot overdraft a prepaid mastercard so i've been using this for seven years it's a great account i don't have any issues with it and if you want to go ahead and sign up you can use my link down below in the description box and once you uh deposit your first forty dollars into the account you will get twenty dollars back in credit and then after that if you want to refer paypal prepay mastercard to any of your friends they can use your link and you both can get twenty dollars once they deposit their first forty dollars okay so first off i want everybody to know it's very possible to buy car cash to save enough money and buy car cash so the first thing you want to do is to check your budget see how much realistically you are going to be able to save there are i'm just going to use an example um we'll say that the car is ten thousand but of course if you want to find cheap cars than that you can go and check out my auto trader videos or my uh last video on carfax they had cars that were under 5000 Even Carfax had cars that were like 1800 and stuff. So there are very inexpensive cars out here. And it's definitely possible to save enough money up to buy your car. So don't think that it's out of your reach. So when I say check your budget, I mean your whole budget. Like how much you usually spend your monthly budget put it everything down on your budget your expenses and if you have anything left then i would say put that over into your car expense after you've checked your budget you need to set up a price like i said realistically how much are you going to be able to spend on a car how much can you afford how much do you want to spend on a car those things matter so next, you want to set a date. You need to come up with a date on a date on when you'll actually want to buy this car or you may need to buy a car. Setting up a date gives you basically a more realistic approach on how much that you can save in those months coming. Say that you are going to buy a $10,000 car in 10 months. Well, then that means that you need to save a thousand dollars per month or if you want to buy a six thousand dollars a six thousand dollar car in 10 months then you need to set up or if you want to buy a five thousand dollar car in 10 months then you need to save five hundred dollars per month the next step is to pick your top five cars take off find all the cars that you want and decide on which five cars that you would want to end up sticking with this will help you get a more focus on which cars that you're going to buy after you've picked your top five cars call your insurance company and get a quote on each car this will also help you determine which car to pick based on if you can afford or if you would rather pay for that insurance premium each month after you have talked to the insurance company, research the maintenance costs on each of these cars. And then you will add up your maintenance costs, your insurance costs, gasoline costs, and see if this is something that you can fit into your, your budget comfortably 
each month. Next, you're going to open up a designated savings account for this car. So that means that so that means that you don't mix up any of your other spending expenses or anything else with this account. This account is strictly for your buying a car with cash fund. Another great way to save money to buy a car is to cut out unnecessary expenses. And really, this is a great rule for anything you're trying to save money on, is to cut out unnecessary expenses. That means subscriptions. That means if you can do your hair yourself, you cut that out. If you can do your nails yourself, you cut that out. Or cut your hair yourself, you cut that out. Uh, going out to eat, cutting that out. Entertainment expenses, you can cut all that out to help save for for your car even faster. Another great way to save money for your car is to get more income. This is this is a great way to help you get this car a whole lot faster. There are different ways that you can get more income. I will post videos uh close in the soon in the future on how to uh make make more money but one way is to do uber now i know you're thinking hey if i don't have a car how can i do uber well if you already have a car you just want a different car or you have a uh you don't have a car uber has a rental program where you can rent their cars from them it will cost you each each week they'll charge you a certain amount but of course the part the important part is to get way more rides to make it is to get way more rides so that it's worth your time for you to make more money so of course we're in a pandemic if you don't want to uh pick people up and have them around you that's completely understandable they do have uber eats they do have services like doordash and what have you i'm not sure if they have a rental car program but Uber and Lyft has a rental program. Also, a part-time job, any part-time job that you can get, uh, if it doesn't put your health in danger, which, like I said, we want to be careful of that because hospital bills and insurance cost way more than trying to save money uh, for a car. So those are some ways to save money for cars to make sure that you increase your income automatic savings okay so this is important this will help you save a whole lot faster say that you went and got that job at uber or some part-time job delivering pizzas or you know working in the grocery store or what have you you can take that amount of money that you are going to use for the car and have it directly sent to that account that I told you to get. Remember, I told you to get a designated account for savings for your car. So that's a, a way to use automatic savings. Also, if you did not get extra income or you're still going to save off the money that you were already making, you can have part of your paycheck sent to a different account. So my last tip is to save more than enough. This is important there are unexpected sometimes it's unexpected especially to a new buyer expenses that you have with buying a car and you definitely want to have enough money you'll have to uh, pay for registration fees and titles and that will cost you money you may have to pay to get the car service um you may need to pay to bring a mechanic with you just so they can check it out for you and you can make sure that this is a good purchase so definitely save more um if you save ten thousand like we've used an example i would say probably buy a car nine thousand or less also you know watch my videos but negotiate make sure that you negotiate your price so that you know you're not spending uh more than you have to on a car like i said before in my videos don't pay a dollar more for the car than what it's actually worth 
So that's it, guys. That is my tips on how to save to buy a car with cash. If you stuck around for this entire video, thank you. I appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up button. It would help my channel a whole lot if you did. And subscribe. Click that notification bell. Uh, so that you can get notified anytime that I upload a video, which I will be doing every day of nonstop November. This is, we're getting close to the end of November, November but I have been keeping up. <laughs> it hasn't been easy, but I have been keeping up. And thank you for watching. I appreciate you and God bless.